Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Prison Architect, everybody's favorite prison management game. In fact, probably one of the only prison management games out there. I know there's a couple of other ones, but I'm pretty sure this is the best one. Also, my favorite one. Um, and also, uh, it needs to be said, the only one I've ever played of this genre. But um, a great game. All the same. Anyway, uh, we're back. We're gonna do another run of Prison Architect, this time with a couple of changes. Uh, if you watched the last series, SummerSlam, um, we had a lot of ups and downs, um, and the biggest down I can think of uh, was the fact that we wanted to execute somebody on death row, but there was like a bug in the game at the time where it meant that death row dudes would not turn up to the prison. I've been assured that that's fixed now, so we shouldn't have this problem again. So, with any luck, we'll be able to actually execute somebody at the end of all this, or maybe in the middle of all this. Who the hell knows? I sure don't. Anyway, uh, since the last time I played, there's been a couple of updates as well, and mo more recently, there's been a big update. Uh, we can probably see on the screen right now. Um, I, I knew this was coming. Because I actually hung out with Mark and Chris uh, from Introversion at PDXCon recently. And wow, they're great guys. It was really nice to hang out with them and meet them and talk about Prison Architect. And I told them all of my ideas to make the game so much better. And they sort of looked at me in horror and, uh, you know, were doing their best to like appease me or whatever. But I, they think I'm nuts, and I probably am a bit nuts as well. My ideas were not very good, and that's why I don't make games. But I like to play them. Uh, so, so here we are. Anyway, I think the most recent update introduced, um, staff strikes. So, uh, if your staff are unhappy, your guards and stuff, they can go on strike. Uh, which just adds another layer of complexity to the already super complex game. I mean, it's not super complex though, right? Anyway. Okay, so, with all of that out of the way, this could be the longest intro ever, by the way. Already, it's like super long, but I have a couple of things that I need to mention. Um, one of them being that uh, I got some keys from the guys at Introversion to give away for the PC version of this game, okay? So if you're watching this video on the day that it's come out, in about half an hour uh, on Twitter, I will be giving away keys to this game. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but uh, I, will, I will be giving them away on Twitter. Uh, I'll probably ask you to send me pictures of your pet giraffe and, and just junk like that. And a, a couple of lucky people will get a PC version uh, Steam key for this game uh, for nothing, okay? Uh, so if that's of any interest to you whatsoever, um, just fo follow me on Twitter and, and wait for me to start talking about giving away keys to this game and maybe you can get one. Cool. If not, don't worry about it. If you're watching this like a year after it's come out, they're gone, okay? The keys are all gone, there's none left. But if you're watching it today when the video came out, there might be some keys left. So, so get at me, dog, <laughs> if you want to. You don't have to. Um, and another thing as well is, um, I'm going to CoxCon in July, okay? That's happening next month, at the end of next month. If you go to coxcon.com, it's got all the info there about the, the convention. It's, it's Jesse Cox, you know Jesse Cox? Looks a bit like Simon. He's an American version of Simon. Anyway, he has his own convention for him. It's hilarious. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I, I think I'm the only person from the Oxcast going, but I'm gonna be there uh, for the weekend. Uh, and if you if you live in or around Telford, or you can make it to Telford in in England, and you want to come and say hi, do it. I'll be there. Uh, and there'll be a bunch of other people there too that know Jesse, like Strippin and Crendor and Dodger and a bunch of other people as well. Um, so it might be fun if you like that sort of thing. If you think that we're all nerds and you don't like that, then don't worry about it. Just ignore me, okay? But it's, I have to say this stuff. I have to let people know because I don't have any other way of letting people know. Okay, so, so there you go. Now you know. All right, prison architect. Let's fucking do this. Are we ready? Hell yeah, we're ready. We're gonna create a new prison. That's right. Bam. Um, we're gonna create a new prison and we're going to make it large. Why the hell not, right? Uh, fog of war, sure. I don't know if we want forests though. We don't want lakes. We don't want buildings. Gangs? Some prisoners will arrive with gang allegiances and will attack rival gang members on site. It's an extra challenge. I mean, we didn't have gangs last time. It might be interesting to have gangs. 
Fuck it, let's have gangs. Uh, we want to have weather and temperature. I think we also want some events. Causes events to occur during the game to keep you on your toes. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll have some events as well. Staff needs, this is the new one. Let's do it. We'll have some staff needs as well. Uh, we're gonna make a female prison this time! Because why not? We had a male one last time. This time it's gonna be all about the females. That's right. But there's a whole bunch of extra crap that we need to take into account with female prison. Um, we have to make sure that they have, like, a uh, place for their kids to eat, because women have kids in prison all the time, it turns out. Like, it's crazy. But anyway, so, um, you know, by extension, those kids are also in prison for... They, 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 they're just, like, they're, they're guilty by association, and in this case, like, by very close association, because... Well, babies start life, like, uh, inside their, their, their mother's stomach, and they're attached to them with, uh, biology, so... There you go. Um, if you didn't know that, that's pretty much how it works. Anyway, uh, choose your warden. Do we want to... Oh, nice. We could choose a different warden this time as well. I think we just had the warden last time. We could go for this guy, the lobbyist. He has friends in high places and makes sure the more easily controlled prisoners end up coming his way. Halves the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Uh, we got Rita, ruthless and terrifying. Rita has a reputation for running her facilities through judicial application of fear. Rumors of her carrying a whip may be exaggerated. This halves the likelihood of prisoners being stoical or fearless, and prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly. Holy crap. What about J.W. Periwinkle? Guard dogs have a 50% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels they detect. Okay, that sounds good. We have the pacifier, reduces the overall temperature of your prison. That sounds a bit cheaty to me. And then we have Safara Aknova. Gets a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. And prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. We're gonna have a female warden for a female prison and she's going to be... I guess somehow maybe tied into the Mafia, the Russian Mafia somehow or whatever. Alright, we're finally ready to play, like, after 10 minutes of fucking screwing around. Good. Let's do it then. We're in. Finally. Oh my god. Okay, a large prison. Now, it's gotta be said, I have not played this game in some time. I'm gonna pause the game whilst I plan the first wing of the prison, okay? This is how I like to play this game, this is what I like to do. I like to plan out my prison, and we're gonna make this one way better than SummerSlam, okay? Straight from the get-go, it is going to work like a charm, I hope. I mean, it probably is not going to work like a charm, but let's have an entrance here. This will be the main entrance, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start small. We're gonna start small, and then we're gradually gonna grow out, okay? Because to, to begin with, we don't need that many dudes. Or, well, du dudettes, I guess you would say. So, we're gonna have, like... Uh, maybe this'll all be indoors, actually, and then the yard'll be at the back. Is this... Does this look already like SummerSlam? Because I don't even remember. Okay, when they come in, there'll be this big, long hallway, okay? There'll be a big, long hallway here. There'll be, like, a, a door here. So, let's put, like, a thing to say that this is gonna be door. There's gonna be another door here, right? This is gonna be, like, the... Like, the intake place. Okay, this'll be pretty good, I think. We'll have, like, um... A wing that goes off this way to be, like, some admin or something. Maybe a wing that goes off this way to be something else. And then in here, we're just gonna have a big... Holding cell? No, we'll make a cell block in here. But we, we... Maybe we can make it, like, open to begin with. We can have, like, an open style one. It could be, like, a big dorm. How about a dorm? Anyone up for a dorm? Look, they come in here, and then they can go in here, and this is the door. They're all gonna sleep in a big dorm, okay? Just to begin with, and then after a while, we'll separate them out into cells. We'll just accept Minsec to begin with, okay? A bunch of female Minsec will come in here, they'll live together in a dorm. It'll be just like Orange is the New Black, um, but it won't be, and also they'll be living in a dorm. And then when the more dangerous gang members and stuff start coming in, that's when we'll separate them out into, like, their own place or, or whatever. Okay. So this one's going to probably be a big double door, okay? We're going to have a big old double door here for the dorm. Um, we're going to have to have a whole bunch of patrols and stuff operating inside the dorm as well. It's going to be great. Um, okay, let's have, like, a small kitchen here and a canteen. This will be really important to have, like, a small kitchen right here. This will be like the little canteen here. It's not going to be a very big prison. And then there'll be like another double door that leads outside 
here uh, into the yard, okay? And then in the yard, we'll have like a bunch of stuff, okay? So we'll have like a fence here that goes like this. I think we need to have a holding cell at some point as well, but this can start life as a holding cell and then we'll transform it into a dorm because we have to do all this stuff, right? All right, so we've read the CEO's letter. We're gonna accept our first grant. Okay, uh, where the hell are grants again? I can't even remember. Grants. Oh yeah, here we go. You can accept no more than two grants at a time. Uh, we have no grants, it turns out. Maybe we have to actually like run the thing. And our prison intake, we want to make sure that our next intake is eight people. Uh, we probably want to fill to capacity. So we'll fill to zero and we'll accept for now, just min sec, okay? We're closing it to mid and max sec. We're gonna just like get a healthy prison population of min sec and then later on we'll open it up to like the other stuff, right? We have enough workers here. Uh, we have no prisoners, our intake is done, jobs and, aha, grants. Okay, basic detention center. This is the one where you have to do all of like the easy stuff. All right, we'll do this one. And we'll do the administration center as well, because we're definitely gonna need those. Okay, so we have the two grants and the money granted to us from the grant. That's a lot of granting and grants, I realize that. Um, it's just like a whole, a big old granty affair, I guess. But um, granted, we now have the grants that we need and we're ready to go. Okay, so in here, I'm thinking one, two, three, four, um, maybe, Maybe we can have like utilities and stuff in here. Like uh, we can maybe have like the power thing in here. We'll have like a door or maybe even actually access this from the outside so that the, the prisoners can't get into it from the, from the inside, right? And then the admin building can maybe go over. What the hell is that? What the heck is that? Oh, is that? It's a notebook page, of course. I didn't recognize it. Okay, abuse threats. All these are like, of course, the notes and stuff. We we now have collected page seven. Great. Okay, that's really good. Okay, back to planning. Back to the planning. Okay, so kitchen. Uh, we have a kitchen. We're gonna have a canteen here. This will be the cell block. What else do we need? We need a um, yard, which we're gonna have. Uh, we need a shower. Which, um, we'll have the shower, we'll be inside the, uh, in, inside the dorm, I think. We'll, like, we'll have it, like, like here. Actually, you know what? This works, actually. We'll just, like, pack these in with showers, have some beds in here and stuff. It'll be great. Okay, perfect. That'll be the shower room. And, uh, what else? We need two guards and two cooks. Kitchen canteen, yard shower, holding cell. Perfect. Okay, and then, of course, we need, like, utilities and stuff as well, which we're gonna have. We're gonna have power in here and probably the water in here, and then in here, maybe after, this can be, like, the admin offices or whatever. And then we'll have this nice, tight, compact little prison with, uh, with an additional layer of fences going around as well, just in case. I don't think for a minute that these ladies are gonna try to escape at this point in time, but, I mean, come on, you never know, right? Like, people, when they're in prison, they will do desperate stuff to get out of prison. Uh, it is known. All right, foundations then, let's do it. We're gonna build this out of brick. And of course we wanna build it all the way here. This is gonna cost us a grand total of 11,670 big ones, but that's fine. Uh, we also need to go into uh, objects and we need a jail door. We're gonna have a jail door here. Uh, we're gonna also have one here. We're gonna have a large jail door here. We want another jail door, a large jail door, actually. Um, how do you rotate stuff again? What's the button to rotate? Uh, do you know this is crazy? I know, I know that, I know that you're gonna think that I'm, I'm nuts or whatever, but I cannot remember how to rotate stuff. What is the? It's R. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. God, that was crazy. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We'll put a staff door here. That needs to be a staff door. This is also going to be a staff door here. And good. We should be good. And we can speed it up a little bit as well. Okay. Well, we need some deliveries to come in. We need all of our workers to finally turn up to work as well for their very first day on the job. Welcome to um, the female ladies correctional facility of uh, Upper New York State. Or maybe it's Lower New York State. Or is there even a Lower New York State? Or did that just like um, cease to be at one point and now it's just all Upper State New York? You always hear people talking about Upper State New York, but never about Lower State New York. Like, I guess... Maybe upper state is just the place to be for some reason. I, I'm not sure, but like, let's just, say, let's just say for argument's sake that this is a female women's correctional facility 
of Upper New York State. And anyone who's coming here, you don't even ne- you don't even necessarily need to be from New York State. You could be from anywhere. And if you've done the crime, you're going to come up here and you're going to do the time. With any luck, hopefully, it looks like somehow the foundation order did not go through. Okay, here. Or maybe it did, and... Because, like, all the materials turned up, but, like, I did not see the actual order there. At all, which is, uh, slightly worrying. Okay, perfect. They can get on with that. That's nice. We're gonna have to plan out where... Okay, one thing that happened in, in SummerSlam, um, and we're gonna be going back to SummerSlam a lot, um, for reference, because mistakes were made. We have to make sure that we don't make the same mistakes. We have to prove to everybody on the internet that somehow or another we've learned from our mistakes and that we're not in the business of making the same mistakes over and over and over again. We have to make sure that we separate the water from the electricity with some sort of wall because that was a big problem last time. I don't know if you remember, the generator went up in big time and it sort of impacted the water as well and then there was water everywhere. There's a flood and the fire department had to come in and then the SWAT team needed to come in as well. And holy lord, it was just a total mess. We don't want auto lights on at all, actually. We're just going to turn off auto lights. Because if there's... If there's anything I, I, I really hate in this game and also in this life is when auto lights are placed inside these buildings. Like, it just drives me nuts. Okay, let's go for some brick walls now. Here. Wait, this is foundation still. We want a brick wall. Brick wall. Perfect. Okay. Brick walls. Here, here, all the way over here. It's gonna be the shower area. It's probably gonna be way too many showers in there, but we can maybe fix that after. Okay, this is going to be a room that has like nothing in it to start with, and then maybe after it'll, it'll act as like admin offices or whatever. We're gonna get a fence around here for the yard, and in no time flat, we're gonna get this first, this first grant knocked out of the park. And uh, for doing that, we're gonna get the princely sum of 10,000 huge ones. Man, we don't even need to privatize or anything because we're such good budget balancers and all of that, that it's all just going to work. It's gonna be great. Everybody's gonna be thrilled. And we also have some guys now stuck down here inside this room. So maybe we're gonna actually have to pony up and build a staff door right here so that they can get out. Okay, who wants to build the staff door to rescue two men who are now trapped in a room that they've built. Okay, one of the guys who's trapped in the room has decided to break him and his friend out of the room and they're out. Okay, perfect. All right, the fence for the yard. Everything has actually gone up pretty quick here. Okay, power station. We will put the power station. We need to have capacitors all around this bitch as well, right? Like that's the important thing. So we'll have uh, rooms for the for the capacitors to go around, and then we'll also have uh, we'll have we'll cheat a little bit. It's not going to be ideal, but we will cheat a little bit. Okay. And then the water pump will be in here. But look, we're going to separate out with some materials. We're going to get a brick wall to separate out the water pump. Okay. And then with an object here, we're going to put a staff door there. And now look, there's room for expansion down here if we want. We can have this temporarily as like a place to hold stuff as well. Okay, so holding cell, good. Cells, no storage. Hell yeah. Okay, we'll have a little storage area here. Let's go back into utilities and make sure that we have a couple of capacitors to start with. Uh, we'll put one here and here just to just to begin with and then we'll be fine And then we'll have some electrical cable connecting up to here It probably needs to connect up to here actually because that looks like to be where the thing is and then we'll have the electrics running into here Into the dorm and everywhere else as well. It's all flooding back to me. It is all flooding back to me now I'm, I'm starting to remember how to play this game and um I'm starting to remember all like the tips and tricks that made me such a hot shot at this game in the first place. Like light placement. That was one thing that I was really good at doing. Placing the lights, making the rooms really well lit and comfortable for the for the prisoners. Cause even though they've been out there committing crimes in a strange time or whatever, they still have to come in here and be somewhat comfortable because 
Well, the thing is, if they're not comfortable, then they're just gonna get angry and probably riot and stuff. And that's like a big no-no. Okay, you know what? This has to line up with the one down here. And look at this. Perfectly in the center, kind of. We can have like a light here. It's like slightly out of whack, actually. And if you, if you, if you really like to have things perfectly aligned or whatever, well... I apologize. Like, I mean, there are going to be instances in this game uh, and in this playthrough where things are not going to align properly, properly at all. And you might get a little bit angry. But you know what? If you feel yourself getting angry, just take a couple of moments, have a little breather, you know, have a word with yourself, and just remind yourself that, you know what? This is a prison management simulation game, and it's not worth getting angry about, okay? There's other things happening in the world right now that probably are far more worth your anger time. Um, like, there's a lot of injustice in the world. Um, this is a place of justice, okay? So concentrate on the injustice and let me take care of the justice in here, okay? Just because this one light isn't perfectly symmetrical with the other lights in the room, it doesn't matter, okay? It'll be fine. All right, um, we need a yard. We're gonna have a big old yard back here. This is gonna be a place for the ladies to get out and just let their hair down and go a bit crazy, maybe do some exercising, playing some b-ball and stuff like that. I mean, normally when you see prisoners playing b-ball, it's men. Um, but this is a women's prison and the women will play b-ball. Mark my words, okay? It's gonna happen. Um, I don't know when or how, but there will be some b-ball being played outside of the school and a couple of girls who might get up to no good might start some trouble in the neighborhood because it won't be guys because most of the staff here will be women as well. I doubt that there'll be like any guys on staff, but you never know. We're gonna need some solitary cells as well, but you know what? We might put them outside or we can think about that later. For now, we're off to a great start. Uh, it's a little bit rough and ready, uh, but next episode we should be able to blast through the remaining things um, in our basic detention center. Get a couple of ladies to turn up once we have some capacity for them and uh, they can start living their lives here inside the female women's correctional facility of Upper New York State. I'm sure that we can think of a really clever abbreviation for that, but whatever. For now, that's, I guess, what we'll call it. Unless I can think up a different name after or whatever, but for now, I think that'll be fine. All right, well... I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please join me next time for the next one of these. Uh, we're going to build this up. We're going to make it big. We're going to make it great. And also, we are going to execute people. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, hopefully. With any luck. Um, we'll see how like all the new updates and stuff fare with the strikes and the gangs and stuff like that. But so far, so good. Excellent. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching. And I will see you next time.